tubercular miasm. Dr. J. H. Allen says that tubercular miasm is caused by the blending of two chronic miasms, namely sora and syphilis. He further adds that a person can suffer from the ill effects of tubercular miasm only when he or she inherits both of these miasms in combination. The action and development of tubercular processes is determined by the intensity of the combination of these two parent miasms. Dr. Allen explains this is why this disease attacks one person and not another and one family not another. To know more about the mechanism and development of miasms, check out the previous video. The link is on the screen. Tubercular miasm not only furnishes the soil for tubercular germs, but it fathers them in the sense that this miasm is the propagator of the tubercular processes and the tubercular bacilli. In a nutshell, Dr. J.H. Allen has elaborately put forward that a functionally changed cell expresses itself through subnormal life processes, which we call symptoms. And the end result or the final product of these changes are manifested by pathological changes. And the force behind these functionally changed cells are the miasms, the invisible potentiality that Dr. Verkow, the father of pathology, as well as other materialists, failed to perceive. And thus, they couldn't find anything more than the final end product of the disease. Subscribe to my channel for similar content. Let me know what topics you would like me to cover next in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy.